If you incorporate fencing in your design projects, then the Fence Tools automated workflow is developed for you to efficiently design pre-configured and custom fences in both 2D and 3D, and it's suited for any industry supported by Vectorworks' Design Suite products. One of the first things you'll note about the Fence Tools intuitive interface is how similar it is to other smart object tools. The mode bar provides immediate access to available pre-configured fence styles through the resource selector, the familiar polyline placement modes, and the fence tool's preferences to adjust the tool's settings. Let's review a few major features we know you'll appreciate. First, fence objects can be placed in either 2D or 3D working environments and be represented dynamically in both. Next, these objects are surface aware, which means they'll automatically follow site model surfaces, or with gravity mode, they can follow surfaces of any 3D object including hardscapes, landscape areas, slabs, and walls. And additionally, fence objects automatically facet to the designated post spacing when drawn in a curved path, which is a tremendous time-saving feature. Once you have initially placed your fence system, flexibly adjust or customize it using the familiar reshape tool. For example, in order to accommodate an entryway, you can add, remove, and adjust the position of the posts to make way for a gate. Then, simply add a gate by selecting the gate mode and choose where the gate should go, making it easy to place as many gates wherever needed. As we start with the general tab, You'll note the opportunity to change the 2D and 3D levels of detail. This can be very useful in moving from schematic design to design development and construction document phases or to present your proposed fence design with as much detail as you prefer. Another general setting is the overall fence configuration, which can quickly switch to be raked or stepped. As we move on to the post settings, you'll note the ability to accurately adjust your fence insulation for each project. For example, if you know the panel span is meant to be shorter than the default, you can quickly change this, as well as modifications to the post height above ground and depth below ground. As you would expect, this automatically changes the overall post length, reducing errors found in the material order once installation begins. Specifying the footer for every post is as easy as picking its shape and size. When framing fences, rails are critical to its longevity, and since conditions can vary, so should the railing specifications. Fortunately, changing the number of rails, their type, and their profile dimensions are easy in this dialog. When you choose pre-configured fence styles, often the infill settings are already set, reducing the time it takes to create the infill panels. But when you do need to change or create a new infill, the settings are straightforward also, you can specify if the infill should be continuous or only between posts with a simple check or uncheck. We've already seen how gates are added into the fence runs, but the determination of what gate and its related settings are made in the gate configuration part of the fence settings. The best location to customize fence materials is through the attributes dialog within the fence settings. Here you have the opportunity to use class settings for each fence part or use the assigned material settings. If your eventual goal is to report not only the parts but the materials as well, it will be worth the short time spent assigning these attributes. As you have seen, the Fence Tools automated workflow provides for simplified and detailed representations, supports integrated posts and gates, and offers terrain conforming options like raked or stepped. The Fence Tool will save you significant time while designing in 2D and 3D and still allow for accurate material reporting, reducing the chance for errors in material specifications.